A strong earthquake off the west coast of Canada puts coastal areas of Alaska and the Pacific Northwest under a tsunami warning. And there's already been a strong aftershock as well. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at 11. I'm Ken Boddy. We want to get straight over to Brian Miskimmons in the Pinpoint Weather Center with the very latest on this earthquake. Brian? Yeah, Ken, it has been a busy night here in the Weather Center and good reason for it. A major earthquake happening on the Queen Charlotte Islands. Let's go right to our graphic right now if we can. And we'll put that up. And there's the location of the earthquake. In fact, just in the past four months, minutes. I have just gotten word from the uh, Tsunami Advisory Center. They have now included parts of Oregon and California into the Tsunami Advisory uh, Zone. So let's break this all down for you. 7.7 .7 quake. It's included several aftershocks, and that's going to continue those aftershocks. So the strongest one I've seen so far is a 5.8, so something to keep in mind there. And uh, the tsunami warnings have also just recently been added to Hawaii as well as the B.C. coast, basically from the northern tip of Vancouver Island up to southern Alaska. And as I mentioned, just in the past five minutes, a tsunami warning just added for the southern Oregon coast from the Douglas Lane County line, which is basically right around Florence, down towards northern California, uh, just about 80 miles northwest of San Francisco there. So definitely, it's, and they may extend this as we go through the evening. I'll be watching it very closely. And something else to keep in mind, look at all these, you see these little dots out here? This is on a di our different system here. All these little dots represent the aftershock since the main earthquake has happened. So really something, if, really something to uh, be impressed by. I mean, just a really strong, uh, strong earthquake up there in Canada. Now, meanwhile, around the northwest tonight, it's been a breezy night. I saw several accidents on the freeways because of the rain and the, the wind. Uh, most of the heavier showers are now drifting off into the Cascades, and that's where they're going to stay really for the rest of the night. In fact, really a pretty dry Sunday evening heading our way. So no matter what you're doing tonight, uh, definitely be prepared for some breezy conditions and very mild as well. 61 degrees, winds out of the south southwest there at 18 miles per hour and temperatures across the entire metropolitan area, upper 50s to low 60s. So as you go through your night into the morning hours tomorrow, showers, they're around, they're scattered in variety, but we're going to stay in the upper 50s throughout the next uh, several hours. And when I come back in a few minutes, Ken, got more details on the earthquake plus the big uh, Frankenstorm hitting the East Coast. I'll have more details on that. Back over to you. All right. Thanks, Brian.